Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. I'm going around doing my oxalic acid treatments now in earnest, and I'm going to be using my, uh, it's the equivalent of a ProVap. Um, the, uh, it's basically an electronic device of uh, heating up and delivering a measured amount of oxalic acid for each hive. And I'll show you how I use that right now. It is in the process of warming up, just about to be getting you, just about to use it. I've got a towel on the front of it just to keep the tip warm right now. But uh, the other end of this extension cord, I've got a little generator, which uh, will keep things going. I actually could move it out of the apiary. It doesn't need to be quite so close to the bees um, and minimize the vibration but that shouldn't be a problem. So what I'm doing right now is I will measure out the oxalic acid into these little cups. So I'm gonna put in about approximately half a teaspoon in each of these. It would be ideal to get it exactly right, but as long as I'm not under treating, I'm okay. So that will be the pre-measured dose of oxalic acid. The temperature is now up to 239 degrees. I've set it a bit high um, and that should do the job very nicely. What I'm going to have to do now is put my mask on uh, because this will produce a lot of vapors of oxalic acid that I don't want to get in my face. But just for now, I'll take this towel off so it doesn't burn, and I'll put that back on again shortly. So you may not be able to hear me very well once I get the uh, mask on. Okay, so now I am masked up. This is an organic filter to keep out vapors with organic acids. And we should be able to progress in here. Just set up the camera. See how it goes. Now, before I do anything, I'm gonna put this on again, just to particularly warm up the tip of this because I've had this gadget modified so that it's got a particularly long tube delivery tube here and that's the only problem with that is that tube tends to get cold or it gets cool enough so that the vapors will solidify inside that and I don't want that to happen so I want that to be good and hot prior to the acid vapors going in and it's in the process of getting good and hot. So this should be hot enough. What I'm going to do now is put, turn this over, put the acid in, turn it over and it starts to shoot out. It takes about 30 seconds for the vapor to be used up, for the oxalic acid to be used up, and I'm just watching the temperature go down on the gauge. It's got down to about 213 degrees. 212 and it bottoms out as it boils out and then it starts to warm up again as all the vapor as all the uh, vapor is left the gadget here so it's now up at 214 215 and as it warms up I can take this out and put this on to get it nice and warm again 
And in the meantime, I can move over to the next side, where I have the oxalic acid already sorted out, ready to go. This is up to 225, but I want it to be warmer still. I'll wait for it to get over 230, and I'm going to wait for that tip to get good and hot too. So what's happening now what's happening in that hive now the vapors are going up in the hive they've, they've gone up in there and they're cooling off in the hive and so vapors will then turn back to crystals but it'll be microscopic crystals all over the, the hive all over the bees all over the mites and as a result of that any mites that get those crystals on them will die. This is now warm enough. I'm ready to go on to my next one. I may be overdoing it, but I hate it when they blow out on me. shooting the vapors into the hive. The temperature is going down to 207, 206, 25, 4, 23. Seems to be bottoming out now. Boiling off the last of the oxalic acid. And now it's starting to warm up again. That means that this should be empty. I'll put this on just to keep it nice and warm. I'll move over to my next hive. I'm going to do a couple of nukes now. I've already measured out the oxalic acid for them. So I'll just do the same thing. It's good and hot now. This is a smaller dose before it will warm up faster. See the oxalic acid coming out the top? This whole box is really full of vapors warming up nicely now. Towel on that to keep it warm. Actually, I'll take this off. Let that warm up a bit more. We can move on to the next one. So, oxalic acid is a fantastic treatment for mites at this time of year. As long as the temperatures are above 37 degrees, the cluster is dispersed enough that the fumes will get up in between the bees and do an effective treatment and kill the uh, mites in the hive. Uh, I might not need to wait so long in between applications, but if, if I do it too quickly, what happens is the oxalic acid will crystallize in here, block up the tube, and it'll actually blow the cork up, uh, out. And so that will just, uh, then I have to go and clean it out with 
boiling water and that sort of thing to real to clean the neck. So I'm just making sure it gets good and hot before I use it. So that any crystals that had formed in there have been cooked out of it. I can go around a few hives back and take the towel off because there's uh, the oxalic acid crystals have all formed so I can unblock these entrances let the bees get on with their day these two are done and I'll move these towels over to the next hive that I'll be treating Oxalic acid in these. So I'm going to work my way through the yard. I've got a lot to do, so I don't really have time to do much videoing and much more talking to my camera. So I will try and get this off. Try. There we go. <laughs> I'll try and get that off and uh, get all the things here now. So for now, I'm working my way through the yard with my oxalic acid vaporizer. Hopefully get this yard done in about an hour or so. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.